in the end, in the end, uh, I think that uh, we had the opportunity to get three points today, and uh, for this reason, we had to be a bit disappointed for the final result in one end. In uh, on the other end, I think that uh, it's not easy to play against the West Ham, especially in the stadium with this uh, atmosphere. Um, in my opinion, West Ham is, uh, is a really good team and uh, uh, they are strong physically. Uh, we knew the capacity you know, that uh, about West Ham to be dangerous in a corner, set pieces and throw in. And I think that uh, we prepared very well, we trained very well. But uh, you can pay attention for 95 minutes, but only once you, are, you don't pay attention and uh, you consider a goal that you can avoid because, I repeat, we consider a goal that we could avoid. We could avoid. And in the end, uh, one point is, uh, is good, and uh, especially, I repeat, and uh, away against West Ham. How key was the VAR decision earlier on? No, <laughs> no but, but it's difficult. It's difficult also to explain, no? Because uh, you you know very well that uh, I don't like to comment referee decision. No? I never did this in England, okay? But today I like to comment referee decision because it was right. And uh, uh, I said to him. Uh, at the end of the first half, but with, with a smile, and not in a polemic way, or, but with a smile, I said, you have taken the right decision. And then, the VR called you, and the VR for sure embarrassed the referee, because to make him to change a right decision, I think it was really, really strange, but, for, for for managers, for players, I think uh, to accept the mm, the mistake of, of of the referee during the game is uh, is okay because uh, mm, referee decision sometimes can be positive, sometimes can be negative. At the end of the season, uh, there is always a balance, no, in situation positive or negative for your team, but to accept this type of the situation, but don't forget that against Nottingham Forest uh, and uh, a clear situation of goal that the, the, uh, the player uh, and uh, he went with his end and uh, penalty, clear situation, red card, no. And today was a clear, a clear, because I know the rule, eh? I know the, the rule. And the problem is that uh, it's difficult to accept uh, the decision when uh, there are people behind the monitor with the video that they have a lot of time because they have taken a lot of time. I, I, I listen also the wisdom no, of the, the crowd because the, the crowd in Eng the England, the crowd doesn't like the VR, no? And uh, it's very, very clear this. But I think they are right because if these are the decision, and uh, it's, it's, it's incredible, I repeat, it's very, it's incredible, or oh, they don't know the rules. But, but this is not the first time, because uh, I have seen many times situation the VR that on side, the same situation offside on another game. But because there is uh, one, one finger, or there is, uh, and oh, oh, the line is, uh, is curved instead to stay uh, right. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, in England it's better to cut off VR for the crowd, also for, for, uh, for us, because uh, um, I repeat, for, 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 for me, for my players, for every coach, every player of uh, all the clubs, uh, I think it's, you accept, you accept the, uh, the referee decision, positive or negative, because this is a human mistake. With the monitor, and you see the situation, can be a human mistake. I don't want to think anything, okay? But I repeat, and uh, I'm really disappointed because uh, and, uh, these people, uh, they stay behind the monitor. Uh, uh, 
Mas uh, they have to pay more attention. They have to st study also. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, uh, in England, uh, um, I spoke also with other managers, and uh, no one is happy eh, about this situation. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he jump and uh, all only that you are jumping and uh, you stay in this way with your hand okay and uh, only only for this because you you uh, you do space okay because you jump in this way i understand that the ball here yeah but then if you open and uh, it's, it's very it's very difficult no but also honestly i guess the uh, the game uh, Southampton United for Southampton was really difficult to accept this decision, no? I think. But uh, in my opinion, I repeat, you accept easily the decision of the referee, positive or negative, because this is uh, a and uh, in that moment the referee see this situation. He accepts, but if you are behind the monitor and uh, two, three pe people, and you have time, and then you have time to make the bad decision. And honestly, it's very, it's very difficult. But I, I repeat, and uh, uh, maybe next time uh, will be good for us. But I don't want also, because uh, if you see a situation, uh, also if it's negative for my, my, my team, uh, and it's clear, uh, you have to punish. You have to punish. You have to do. The, uh, to be uh, fair, to do the right thing. If you don't do this uh, with the monitor, with the, with the timing, and uh, but it's difficult. But no, this is my opinion uh, about the VAR because sometimes, uh, and uh, when when I see I watch a game and then I see, uh, then why this uh, is on side and the other this is not uh, is off side. Why? <laughs> And but I repeat, this decision uh, moved the final result, eh? and uh, point less, point more. We accept the mistake of the referee, honestly, eh? and uh, I prefer the mistake of the referee. The referee, positive or negative situation, uh, see a penalty or then uh, he doesn't see the penalty. Okay, but come on, we continue. I never comment, never, never referee decision, never. But uh, this is uh, the, the two clear situation, two games in a row against Nottingham Forest and against now against West Ham. But I put also, uh, I spoke also the, the, the situation of uh, um, another game that maybe is not, is not good to do this, but only for example, no. And uh, to make a mistake behind the, the video, behind the monitor, I think this is incredible. Is incredible and uh, is difficult to accept. Yeah, but talk about the game. Yeah. Antonio, just one is on a different topic. He waited quite late to make the substitution. Yeah. He made one. He waited fairly late. Yeah. Some of the other games as well. Can you just talk through the, the kind of thinking there. No, I think that at that moment uh, I understood. Uh, I didn't want to change and uh, to to change the balance of the team and. Uh, Skippy was uh, the first time with us, and uh, he trained with us uh, only two two days. And I want I wanted to to give him uh, uh, the possibility you know, to come on the bench and uh, to brief uh, the atmosphere. And he risked also to play because uh, uh, Oberg received a, a really a really bad tackle. And then I I wanted to. Um, to make only one change with Ricci because in that moment we needed energy, strong energy. And uh, at the situation, I, I preferred to, to, to keep the balance at that moment, also because in two days we have to play against uh, Fulham. And uh, for sure, uh, uh, I will make uh, rotations. And uh, my players know very well. Uh, and uh, but they are ready. They are ready, and we are ready, and uh, to to face uh, this uh, 
uh, this many games in a, in a row, no? In a two days, three days, yeah. But um, honestly, honestly, uh, also uh, without the, without the penalty, then uh, we went one nil up. And uh, in my in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, maybe we can do better to to kill to kill the game, no? To kill the game instead, if you stay uh, and you keep your opponent into the game, can happen that. Uh, a corner, a throw in, a free kick, especially against West Ham, you can pay. And we paid. Um, but I think that uh, we have to learn, no? Uh, we have to learn for for uh, for the next time, for, for the future. Um, we are going step by step. I think that the, the, the team also today showed to be uh, to be strong. And uh, to be difficult to play against uh, against us, but at the same time, uh, when uh, you have the opportunity to get three points, you have to get three points. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave there, I'm afraid. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.